This week, the Super Bowl, the Commercial Music Showcase, the Valentine's Day Emergency Crisis Center. It's the, the week, week at Belmont. Belmont. Welcome to the week at Belmont. I'm Erin Carson, and thanks to the brief bit of sunshine we got this weekend, no longer suffering from seasonal affective disorder. Anyway, first up, the Super Bowl is Sunday, and Kennedy Hall is hosting a viewing party and tailgating starting at 4 p.m. Patton Hall's hosting a Super Bowl viewing party, too. Just saying. There will be food and drinks, stadium seating, and a raffle. Speaking of sports, men's basketball coach Rick Bird hit his 600th career win January 30 in a game against Stetson. The score was 82 to 64. And to make sure I included all the irrelevant info and phrased it correctly, we go now to our sports team for more. Pierce Greenberg, tell us if what I said made any sense at all. As far as I could tell, you bet. Awesome. Katie Green, how big of a deal are we talking about here? It's a big deal, Aaron. Back to you. Thanks, guys. Well, as we said earlier, we had some good weather this weekend. Let's check in with Week at Belmont weather expert Kathleen Bond. Give us some good news, Kathleen. Well, Aaron, this weekend Nashvilleans got a blissful taste of spring. The highs were in the 60s and we had sunny skies throughout. And despite its gloomy start, this weekend promises to be just as beautiful as last weekend. This week's forecast. Wednesday, the high is going to be 33 degrees, and it'll be windy. That means that it's going to feel a lot colder than 33, so grab your jacket on Wednesday. Thursday, we'll have sunny skies, and the high is about 35 degrees. And then Friday, it'll be 37 degrees, also with sunny skies. Saturday, we'll have partly cloudy skies and highs of about 45. And then Sunday, the high jumps up to about 47, almost 50, and we'll have sunny skies. Monday, there's a 30% chance of showers and the temperature will be 50 degrees. And then Tuesday, brace yourselves, there's a 60% chance of snow showers. Don't worry though, the high that day is 45 and if Nashville's weather stays true to its character, that forecast is sure to change by Tuesday. Your prayers, however, would be appreciated. That's it for the forecast, back to you, Erin. Thanks, Kathleen. Continuing on with the weather, we go now to Chief Correspondent Dustin Stout to see how Belmont is handling the crazy weather. Dustin? Thanks, Aaron. This weather is amazing. All of Nashville is out in full force this weekend, relieved and excited that winter is finally over. Do you really think it's over? I think Kathleen said it was going to get a little colder again. Here's the thing, Aaron. Weather is completely psychological. You just have to want it to be warm bad enough, and it will be sunny and 60 degrees. And do you really believe that? Wholeheartedly. It's been a rough January. I don't know about you, but I just don't think I can take much more. It's either we will the sun to come out, or the week at the University of Fiji has found its newest correspondent. Back to you, Aaron. Well, folks, you heard it here first. Will the sun to come out, or we will lose our chief correspondent? Well, Valentine's Day is quickly creeping up on us. Let's check in with junior correspondent and resident love expert, Kevin Heim, for more. Thanks, Aaron. We here at The Week at Belmont enjoy bringing you your weekly batch of chuckles. Belmont, but we Day also enjoy serving center. the community. So next week, we'll be manning the Valentine's Day Emergency Crisis Center. Having love trouble? Need tips on how to make Valentine's Day super special? Send your questions and concerns to blmntvision at gmail.com and we'll answer them on next week's show. We've got everything to answer your questions from telephone, video chat, Facebook, even the book of love. Having communications issues? Try hanging out with the saber-toothed tiger next time. Just remember, when it comes to all matters of love and creepy infatuation, the week at Belmont's got your back. Also, it's time to get off likealittle.com. For real, guys. Back to you, Aaron. Thanks, Kevin. We eagerly await your sage advice. The Commercial Music Showcase is Monday at 5 p.m. in MPAC. Performers include Chase Foster, Cameron Rogers, Piper Jones, and Nicole Staley. Well, that's it for us. We hope you'll join us again next Wednesday for another edition of The Week at Belmont. Until then, I'm Erin Carson.
Valentine's Day is quickly creeping upon us. Creeping up on us. <laughs> creeping. <laughs> it's like that SNL that, did you watch SNL? <laughs> 